Right, uh, fluid mechanics guys, this has been moved from AP Physics 2 to unfortunately AP Physics 1. So let's do it. A small rock sits at the bottom of a cup filled with water and the upward force exerted by the water on the rock is F0 which is called buoyant force. So this buoyant force is F0. The water then poured out and replaced by an oil that is three-fourth as dense as water and the rock again sits at the bottom of the cup completely under the oil. Which of the following expressions correctly represent the magnitude of the upward force exerted by the oil on the rock. What is the formula for buoyant force, right? Um, what is the formula for buoyant force? Is mass of the fluid displaced times g. It can also be written as mass is what volume times density, right? So volume of the fluid replaced times density of the fluid times g. And if an object is completely submerged, the volume of the fluid is nothing but the volume of the object times density of the fluid times g. In situation number one, F naught is V naught times rho of water times g. In situation number two, V naught remains same because that's the same object. Rho is three fourth as dense. So three fourth as dense means its density replaced by an oil that is three fourth as dense as water. It means that it is three fourth of rho of water times G, which can also be written as three fourth times V naught times rho of water times G. And what is this entire thing? That's just F naught, right? So that's going to be 3 fourth of F naught. That is the new force, buoyant force, that's going to act when it is in the oil, which is option A. Right, that was a pretty straightforward question. I hope this one makes sense.